getting paper man. You can call me paper man. I be getting paper man. You can call me paper man. I be getting paper man. You ain't talking guala chunk the deuce and see you later. Power nine five three, the new number one for hip hop. I'm here, baby. I'm here. This is where home is at now. Got the homie Chingy in the building. Yeah, I'm in the building too, man. We here. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's going down in a major way. Like, we just chilling. We, we, we finna kick back, do our thing, how we supposed to do it. You dig? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, talk to me, my man. What you got going on? I know you're in town Orlando right now. Yes, sir. Uh, major single that's been popping off. Yes, I'm sir. hearing it all over the place. Yes, sir. Paper two Man. Two, yeah, Paper Man. Paper Man. Definitely. Now, now, are you pushing Paper Man or are you pushing the other one? I heard it last night in the club. I'm actually pushing both of them. I'm pushing Paper Man. It's more of my, um, it's more of an urban single, you know, um, Paper Man with me. The name Chingy, it just means money, wealth, rich, you know, I, I dollars, see it right your neck. coins, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so that's, that's, I'm pushing that and it's, a, it's actually, I started with that joint underground, man, and it's been getting a good response coming from the bottom. I'm trying to get it to the top. It's been getting a good response. A lot of DJs, radio um, personalities been messing with me on it. So, man, I appreciate the love, and I'm going to continue to push that. But I also got the single that we really, really, really kind of focused on and, 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 and really strongly pushing is my joint superhero featuring featuring my art, uh, artist I got on Full Deck, Chris Woodhouse. Mm -hmm. And um, that joint is definitely blowing up. It was a couple weeks ago, it was added, added at radio and it came in at number two. Already? Yeah, came in at number two and it was a beautiful thing. And actually, it's attached to a, a, a bigger cause. It's attached to a um, campaign that's going on, anti-bullying campaign that's going on, um, Hero in the Hallway. Explain a little more about that whole anti-bullying situation. Okay, the anti-bullying situation was put together Together, put together through Mike. What's, what's his name? Mike. It's we talking to the camera right now. Yeah. Right? It was put together through my. I, I'm gonna have them details in a minute. Y'all yeah. know, but um, it was put together through him and um, he. They wanted me a part of it. They heard the song. Actually, a school in Virginia heard the song and thought that it would be a good fit for for the campaign. And so they reached out to my cousin Stan, and Stan reached out to me and let me know. And he got the people that or orchestrated and put together the Heroes in the Hallway movement mm -hmm. um, from Chicago. And they came down to Orlando, which why I'm here in Orlando was um, the Playground Music and Arts Festival for the kids. And mm -hmm. we're just trying to bring awareness to the fact that this bullying be going on in schools with these kids, man. And, they be, and then it's the kids that get bullied actually end up they so hurt that they end up that some have suicide. committed suicide. Yeah, I see you know what I'm saying? So that's that. that that's crazy. And we trying to stop that so and I'm I'm just kinda honored to be a part that's of huge. that whole whole thing. That's huge, you know? that's huge. Um now this is gonna be your fifth album, right? Yes sir, this is my fifth album. Yeah it's called and No Risk, No Reward thirteen. But I'm honestly, right now, I'm not, I, I ain't even really pushing the fact of the album because mm -hmm. I've been gone for like three and a half years. So I want to build Chingy back up, build the brand back up, build the name back up, and, and just bring awareness to these singles mm -hmm. and get people back familiar with that me. Part. You know what I'm saying? Not that I ever left, but I have been gone for a minute, you know, dealing with, dealing with my personal life. A lot of people just be thinking when you go on, they hear you on the radio, they don't they don't see a video on you, and they think you just they fell off from music and everything. But I've still been doing my music, but also I've had a couple close people in my life pass away. My auntie, my little cousin, looks time I had three close friends pass. Um, my girl cousin Brandy. Like it's been the last couple of years have been really stressful. Mm -hmm. As far as tragedies go, and, that's, and I've been kind of, I had laid off a little bit, like not even really caring about putting nothing out because I was dealing with so much, so much stress and so, so many personal problems. But we got back to it. We got the in Paper the Man joint in the studio, and um, we got the superhero joint. So man, I'm just getting back to it right now, mm -hmm. staying on the grind and just getting, 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 bringing the awareness back to Chingy and you know, bringing it up and having fun with it. No doubt. Uh, a regular day for Chingy besides the whole music thing. Regular day for Chingy besides the whole music yeah. thing. What is Chingy about when he wakes up? Call a couple girls, see what they doing, <laughs> what, in the gym. Like. You know what? I'm, when Chingy wake up, a basic day for Chingy um, outside of doing the music is uh, I wake up. I actually, I go to the gym about 9 in the morning, go get it in for about an hour and a half, get out the gym, 
I might go to the studio, go to my little cousin Young Spill studio. We lay some tracks down. Mm. Um, dude, we got to do. I'm constantly on the phone, emailing, talking, trying to figure out some business and get get things situated with, with, with the records I'm pushing and just, you know, on the road, touring situations or videos. So music kind of play a part of my life all the time. Mm -hmm. Even when I'm even when I'm going through a regular day, we still we still be about business. Work. But end of the night, you know what I'm saying, we might we might go out, hit a club, go party with the people, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. and have fun with them. And even when I do that, you're still working. The business you're still is working. Still Shake your you know hands. Saying what's up to the DJs. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you know what? And I actually don't. I don't mind those things, man. I like interacting with the people. One thing about me, I'm, 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 I stay fresh. And when I say I stay fresh, I mean free, righteous, equal, stylish, and humble. I'm just that type of individual. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, I'm not. I'm not like like I get a lot of people come up to me and, and they they expect me to be a certain way. They expect me to be Hollywood or they expect me to be all wild and crazy. And when after they meet me, they like, man, I, you 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 are down actually earth. a humble down to earth dude, man. I never thought you would be this cool. So mm. I just I look at it like this, like I always music has always been a passion of mine, a part of my life, and um, I always said, you know, when I get in it, it's it's just a job for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna change. I'm not. I'm yeah. not. I'm not really, really into be trying to becoming somebody that I wasn't just because I got a certain type of fame and had some success. Mm -hmm. So I just, I say, I stay down to earth, man, and just be me and roll with the um, punches. That's why you're gonna be blessed, my man. Yes, sir. It's Chingy. Shout to Twitter. I let them all know, baby. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, if you on Twitter, um, hit your boy up at Chingy Jackpot. You know, actually, since I've been in Orlando, I've been getting a lot of love on Twitter. You know, people hitting me up from Orlando. I'm um, saying they come out to the spots that, that I was going to be at and stuff, and they come out, hang out with me, you know, we be in the VIP, I, they, they come in there, we, we let them drink with us, and we just have fun, you know what I'm saying, so... Poppin', Last so. night at Senso, if you ain't no Senso on Sunday, Chingy was in the building. Yeah, and it was cracking too. It went down, man. I had a blast. But at Chingy Jackpot on Twitter, you can hit me up on my website, my um label site, fulldeckmusicgroup.com, Full deck with two Ks, fulldeckmusicgroup.com. And um something very interesting happened yesterday where... Where, where my road manager, um, Nitty, was surfing on a, the net and he came across across a site called ChingyDaily.com wow. that we actually had nothing to do with, but it was so well put together and how they did it that we were sitting there looking at it like, it was a fan, I believe. Yeah. We were sitting there looking at it like, wow. My, and I was talking about kind of taking it over. My little cousin Spiffy was like, just just let the fan be the fan and do what they do. And um, I'm going to even shout that website out, ChingyDaily.com. You know what I'm saying? Hit that up too. You wanna and the, the the updates on there was so wild. I had just did the playground music and arts festival, and he found the site and went on there. They already had a pic of me on stage performing wow. from net. I, it was kind of weird. It was kind of weird. The power of the internet, you know what I'm saying? But, but they definitely had good things to say about. It's a site made for me, so they they just was keeping you informed about everything I'm doing. And also tomorrow, look at the Monique show, ten o'clock. Tomorrow night, and you'll see your boy on there doing the um, superhero song, performing, huh? Performing. So, um, and getting interviewed by Monique, um, Eddie Griffin on there, and it's it's going down. It's definitely a dope experience. I ain't gonna say he left, but he's back and he's ready oh, yeah. to work, baby. Oh yeah, you know me. I'm always ready to work. You did. Chingy, Ricky Padilla, cut the tape. We done. We gonna party somewhere. I'm I'm out here.